Look at them. They buy flats and pile the elevator with their stuff, and I have to sit here because of them. <laughs> oh, you only need to come from the second floor. Perhaps they're good people. The wife is so pretty. She said hello to me. They're all good at first and then forget to close the taps. And like always, I'll bring the bucket in again. Accept the job, boss. Would you give us a bonus? We even dragged it into the flat for you. Agreement Clause 6.4. Furniture shall be delivered to the agreed place in the apartment, therefore you'll get your bonus at work. You're a cheapskate. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Am I in love? Well, and? Oh, it's great. It's much cozier with curtains. I agree. Daddy, where is my garage gonna be? Daddy, where is our garage? Hmm. You come here. Let's go to your room, and then we can settle everything there. Hooray! Yay! You said it! I'm getting my own room! <laughs> The lumberjack took his axe and went to the forest and walked for a long time until the night. Mommy, are you going to leave my kindergarten straight away tomorrow? Why do you think that? I don't know anyone there. Well, I'll stay with you for a while and then I have to go to work. You'll make friends there soon. You'll be fine. It's so great. Sit down here. <laughs> Do you remember when we came to look at this apartment? Mm-hmm. It turned out to be just as we imagined. The house, the district. Here's to our dreams. Tell me, what is our next dream? Our dream is for you to leave your agency. Oh. This job is not for you. All right, as you say. <laughs> Listen, this is not to wake Dennis up. <laughs> <laughs> do you recognize yes, it? I do. Oh, may I have this dance? Yes, you may. <laughs> hey, I love you. And I love you too. Jump on in. Mom, is our car completely broken down now? I don't know, my son. How 
long are we going to be stuck? I... Uh... N- Nadia? Andre? <laughs> what an encounter. Uh... Yes, what a surprise. Mom, can we go now? We'll be late for kindergarten. Hold on, hold on. Well, my car, it's died here. It looks like... Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, open the hood. Thank you. Uh, uh, so what brings you here? I live here now. It's my third day already. Oh, really? Uh, what floor are you on? Fifth floor. Well, I live on the ninth. Uh, if that means we're like neighbors. <laughs> Looks like we are. Start it up. Thank you so much for all your help. Not at all, neighbor. So is that your son? Yes. Congratulations. Are you married? I am. Andre, I'm sorry, but now we're late. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Yes, yes, yes. This is all clear. Uh, tell me, which bus is it going to be? A large and comfortable one. No, I meant the brand of bus. I don't know. That all depends. It's better to know it. And what if they give us some bucket of bolts? Well, our transport company checks every bus before every trip. Ah, oh, we know all that. How they check them. Now, about Yaroslavl, uh, tell me, does the room number face the Volga? You have tours during the day and festive shows at night. You're going to return to your room very late at night. I'd like to enjoy the view of the Volga during the sunrise. And it would be nice if there was a balcony. But listen, you're going to move out before any of that. Why would you need a balcony? I'm terribly sorry, Nadia. Can I have a moment with you? Yes. Go to the cafe and wait for me there. I'll handle this. Hmm. A balcony, you were saying? Yes. That's not a problem. I just saw my ex today. Wait, for real? We're neighbors, and it looks like we're going to see each other every day now. Don't get dramatic now. Mm -hmm. I don't see my neighbors for months at a time. It'll be the same for you. Mm -hmm. I hope so. What did you have for lunch at school? A cutlet with potatoes and pickle soup. Mmm. Like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was it tasty? Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Hold on a second. Yes, Polina. Yeah. Yeah. You did everything right. And be sure not to show him any documents or make any appointments. Tell him we'll see him in court. Yeah. You are so great. We'll be in touch. Uh, who is Polina? You have a new worker? Yes. The boss brought her. We weren't sure at first, but it turns out she is a great lawyer. I'm helpless without her. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, Paulina. Your dress is amazing. Are you going to the party with the bear after all? Let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink. <laughs> You look amazing as always, and all the men will be yours. One will be enough for me. A good-looking, and clever, and a loving one. But hold on, I thought he was married. <laughs> he 
he is at the moment. Igor, not so fast, please. Oh, look, we're going to be late. You hear me? Yes. You're going to get dizzy. Lena! Huh? Good to see you. Hello, Lena. Hello there. Now go dear. play. Okay. okay. Now, where, this is for where, you where to have it? with oh. tea. Hey, guys! Thank you. Enjoy it. What's wrong? Nadia. So it's the company anniversary. Yes, that's right. Okay, I see. Yes. Do you know how everyone is going to look? Lena. Excuse me for saying, but... This is Peter's favorite dress. Nothing else matters. Okay, then. What is it? Hold on, just wait a second. What? Hold on. One thing is missing. I'll be back. I'll be but right where? back. Just wait there. Lena! Just wait there. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. I'd like you to meet my wife, Nadia. This is my colleague, Pleased Polina. Pleased to meet you. My pleasure. <laughs> That's a beautiful brooch. Is it a knockoff? Oh, no, of course. No, it's actual vintage. I'm sorry for not noticing. It looks very good. Thank you. Nadia has wonderful taste. I don't even choose my shirts without her. Peter! <laughs> Peter! Peter. <laughs> oh, be back in a minute. Nope, all mm -hmm. together, it looks like. Peter, Peter! What would you like to drink? Uh, just orange juice. I'm driving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, here you are. Thank you. Here's to having a loyal wife. As for me, I think it's time to get a cab. Is there anyone to walk you? Really, there aren't many princes. And I won't settle for less. But wait on a prince? The main thing is to love each other. Well, I'll take the prince and the love all together. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Excuse me, but I need to make a call. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hello, Lena? How's Dennis? Is he giving you a hard time at all? Oh, Nadia, what are you talking about? They spent the entire evening playing. I even watched a movie. How's it going? Is there anyone there for me? Not yet, but I remember everything. <laughs> Don't worry, and thank you for the brooch. I'll tell you everything in detail tomorrow. All right, bye. All right, we'll talk soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a success. <laughs> you were amazing tonight. Yeah, you were on fire too, dear. Especially while you danced with Paulina. <laughs> By the way, did you like Paulina? Honestly? Mm. Not too much. Why is that? She smiles nicely and talks politely. But there's a trick in her eyes. I think she's a phony. Oh, yeah? No, I think you're mistaken. Well, I could be. You know better. And you work with her. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Well, good evening. I can't get inside the lobby. Can you imagine? I forgot my keys, and my wife is still out, so... All right, then. Let's go. So how's the car? Is it dead now? No. Peter, meet Andre. He's our neighbor. He helped me with the car this morning. Hmm. Peter. Andre. What was wrong with the car? Uh, well, the starter relay is dying. Actually, I work with car repairs. You should come. I promise uh, we'll do a good job for you. Hmm. Well, thank you. I thought it sounded funny. 
Hmm. You know what, then? Come over to visit. With all of your family. It's uh, sort of a housewarming party. <laughs> no, it's my pleasure. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's here. After you. I don't understand. Why invite him? I don't get it. Well, what's wrong with that? You're meeting a man for the first time, and you invite him in. You didn't even ask me. Oh, come on, honey. He helped you out. And he seems like a good man in general. I think people should make friends with their neighbors. Peter, I must confess to you. Andre and I had an affair. We dated for three years. I'm sorry, I... Nadia, <laughs> another encounter. Seems like our accidental meetings are now normal for us. I don't think so. Uh, have you told your husband about us? No, not yet. Let's pretend we forgot about everything. Nadia, my dear, why are you doing this? Don't call me that again. All right, I'm sorry. I won't. This is your favorite, though, am I right? Not anymore. My tastes have changed. Are we done here? Nadia, you know, I've, uh, I've been thinking about us and... Excuse me, please. Yeah, tell me. No. I told you that this order was a priority, man. Yeah. So who pays you, huh? Me or Igor? That's it. All right, fine. Listen to me. Yeah, I said the priority is for the... Nadia, I'm going out to get some fresh air, so don't wait up for me, right? Oh. Please don't hit Nadia. each other. <laughs> Nadia! Nadia! Damn it. Mm -hmm. Can I have this rabbit recipe? I'll of course. give you my recipe of Siberian fish pie. I just know you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a toast. Let's get to know each other. Mm. For real, why be so official? 
I mean, we're neighbors after all. Here's to friendship between households. <laughs> to newfound friends. I'll go put the kettle on. Hmm. But hold on. It's early. But I need to go find the good cups. Ah. Uh, hmm. You need help? No thanks. I'll manage. Are you out of your mind? Do you need any help? No, and leave me alone if you would. So, uh, you got married a half a year after we broke up. Well, you forgot me quickly. Andre, stop that now. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not offended. Let's call it even. We were done with all this. How so? You know, I think I like you even more now. You used to be a little princess, and now you're a real lovely queen. Hey, can I kiss Her Majesty's hand? I said leave me alone. It's great that we've met. I don't know anyone here. And don't you have any friends here? Mmm, all my friends are... 5,000 kilometers away. You've never heard of it. <laughs> it's a little place. It's called Malaya Liela. What's it called? <laughs> Let's start over, Nadia. I swear you won't regret it. I'll do everything for you. I said get out! <laughs> Andre, as soon as I say where I'm from, everyone asks me to repeat it. It's Malaya Liala. Liala. It's a small Siberian town. Uh, hold on, but how shall I call your fellow countrymen then? Um, uh, Lalians? <laughs> or maybe, uh, Lalits? <laughs> Am I getting closer? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even think about it. Zveta, look, uh, go in there and help Nadia a bit. Mm. All right, Andre. <laughs> well then, let's toast to our wives. To beautiful women. Good one too. <laughs> They're such good people, right? They're simple and aren't pretending to be someone else. Shut up, will ya? Oh, but didn't you like them? <laughs> yeah, I like them all right. But you? What is it? Is something wrong? What can you do right? Hmm? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm sorry, I've been trying. Oh God, would you stop being a crybaby? Go and take my shoes. Look at what a vulgar blouse you're wearing. <laughs> you bought it together. You said it was pretty. Listen, just stop wearing all that ugly crap you always wear. Why do you choose to embarrass yourself that way? If you had told me, I would have put on something else. Yeah, what else do you have? All your things are the same. Cheap stuff. Look, I'm not going to be spending on you, and you dress like a cleaner from the supermarket. It's gross. Oh, I'm glad you're still here. Are you going home? Yes, after I send an email to the logging company. That's great. 
Would you be able to give me a ride to the subway? My car broke down. <laughs> Not a problem. It's a joke of a service. Last time they spent two weeks repairing my car and I had to waste money on cabs. Look, my neighbor works in a car service. He's a good man. And the service is decent. I checked it out. You want me to talk to him? That'd be so helpful of you. <laughs> Fine. Very well. But for now, I really just need a ride to the subway. <clears throat> well, I'll give you a ride home. Beautiful girls and stars don't ride subway trains. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Hmm. That's a cozy yard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Want to come in? I'll make you coffee. It's kind of the least I could do for the ride and all. No, thank you, but I can't. Why? Is your wife waiting at home? And my dinner is too. <laughs> Listen, I think it would be better for you not to tell Nadia that you gave me a ride. I kind of think she doesn't like me. What makes you think that? Female intuition. It's a pity because I wanted to ask her about something. About what? My parents have been dreaming about a trip along the Volga. It'd be great for their anniversary. I thought Nadia could maybe find something for them. She'll do that, absolutely. I'll tell her about it right away when I get home. Your female intuition has failed you. Yeah, <laughs> well, if you're so sure, I'd love to see her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then. All right, okay. Bye. Bye now. <sighs> Sergey, what is it? I think we should send it to diagnostics. All right, send it then. In the meantime, uh, we'll have a little coffee. It'll be my pleasure. Right this way. Thank you. So does my neighbor have all these beauties at work? <laughs> <laughs> There's just one beauty there. Although the rest are okay. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't get any work done. How's Peter? He, he hit on you yet? Oof, strictly between us. Peter is tough. Peter really loves his Nadia. She's his, Juliet. <laughs> I understand. We're all done, Andre. How? So quickly? Well, we have a little approach to special customers. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, come back in an hour. <laughs> well then, we can take the car. <laughs> I'm honestly very grateful to you. <laughs> I'd like to become your special customer. It would be my honor. This way. <laughs> Why, thank you. Nadia, look, I'm sorry, dear. Uh, I, I slightly lost that in the kitchen, and I feel bad for what I did to you. All right. Wait, uh, by the way, uh, about the car. Bring it by and we'll repair it, okay? I have good guys at my place, too. Let's go, Dennis, or we'll be late. It's difficult, and I don't know what to do. You need to keep silent. Moreover, that ship has sailed. You'll tell Peter, and he'll ask why you haven't told him before. Yeah, you're right. That's what stops me, Lena. And sadly, as luck would have it, Peter likes him, and they agreed to come back for a visit next weekend. <sighs> I'm gonna go crazy. Hello, hello. Hello. <sighs> 
Andre, do you have no conscience? You like to get on my nerves at work? But we need to talk, and right now, for the last time. You want me to hate you? All right then. Good morning. I need Nadezda Polkova. Oh, she went out for a minute. But you can wait here if you'd like to. <sighs> Actually, there's a wonderful cafe downstairs. You can wait there if you'd like. Yes, you know, that truly sounds much better. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? In hell? Thank you. When will you finally understand? We met for a reason. We became neighbors for a reason. And now you want me to leave my husband and fall back into your life? Look, you don't have to leave your husband. <laughs> Andre, do you want me to become your mistress? Nadia, what's with all this talk? Remember how good it was for us? We can get back to that. Andre, are you crazy? I don't love you. And I'm not going to be your mistress. Do you understand? This is my final decision. No, don't go. <sighs> Hello there. The world's a small place. Such passion a moment ago. That is, we have two Romeos and one Juliet, right? Yeah, and how'd you come to that? Well, by accident. But I think it's destiny now. Nadia didn't tell Peter about your affair? Wonderful. It's good for us, it's just amazing. For us, what do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you. I love Peter. I love Peter very much, and I think that we're perfect for each other. But he lives with Nadia and thinks he's happy. My condolences. Where do I come in, though? Well, as far as I could hear, she rejected you. I think. Ah, uh, what a shame for you. Don't you want to punish her? What are you talking about? I just so happened to come up with a plan. We need to compromise Nadia before Peter. To make it look like you're involved. When he finds out, he will leave her and she'll come running to you. Then you can figure out what's next. You know what? That's a good idea. I like it. So where do we begin? With your past, I would think. I've just talked to Gavrilov. The forestry company is withdrawing their counterclaim against Deda now. <sighs> which means that we win. <laughs> Wait, stop. <laughs> All right, hold on. No. Does Davidovich know? Guess what a messenger who brings good news gets. A bonus! <laughs> 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 Hello, tour agency. Hello, lady. I urgently need two tickets to the moon. Can you help me? Our agency only offers domestic tourism. Unfortunately, the moon is not a part of Russia yet. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Did something happen? Look, we just want a case. A very important and complex one. My congratulations. And I'm... I'm so happy for you. 
Why don't you come home earlier today, hmm? And let's celebrate your success together. <laughs> I'll make walnut sauce for you. Oh, that sounds perfect. But I'll be a bit late. Um, people are going to a restaurant to celebrate after work. Hmm. Peter, do you really have to go? Dennis really misses you. It's awkward if I don't go. I was in charge of this case. Listen, it won't take long. And tell Dennis I promise I'll play with him today and don't forget the walnut sauce. All right? That's it. I'll see you later, dear. See you later. I'd like to make a toast. Let me, let me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's to our team. We're the best. I'm sorry, it was an accident. What do we do now? Oh, that's quite all right. I'll be right back. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be back. Shoot. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> We're sorry, but the number you have called cannot be reached at this time. Mom, when is Dad coming home? He'll be home soon, my dear. Would you like some juice? Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming undone. I've missed five calls from my wife already. I promised I'd be home earlier. Yeah, don't sweat it. Man, you said you had a great wife, didn't you? <laughs> I should check in. Honey, that's all right. Don't worry. I'm sure I can fix it. Well, then? Well, it went straight to voicemail for some reason. Oh, come on, Peter. What could really happen? Just stay here with us, and believe me, man, she won't be upset. Peter can't stay. He has a very strict wife. Oh. Uh, mm. Who does? Me? I do what I want. Okay, I really now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then what shall we drink to? Well, here's to real men. Hooray! 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 Bottoms up! Bottoms up! Come on now. Be careful. Uh, ooh, You're so ooh, drunk. Ooh. Careful. Mm. We'll get you a taxi. Uh-huh. To take you home, all right? Yes. All right then. Let me, let me help you stand up. Good boy. Oh. Good boy, that's it. <sighs> Yes. Oh, damn. Hold on a second. Stand there. Don't fall. Wait. Okay. Wait, here's a cab. Here's a cab. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh. Wait. A cab on, to hold Dubrovka. On. Hold on. Mm, Take yes. care. This way. Yes. Mm. Right this way. You can all do right. it. Now, don't. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be okay. the door there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> it's all going to be don't fine. Wait. Just wash wait. your head. That's it. Mm. Yeah. for Nadia.
my son, slow down a little bit, will you? Dad, <clears throat> are you sick? Is that why you didn't feel like going to work today? No, I have the day off, but I'm ill. But I'll be okay. Come here. Where were you yesterday? At the restaurant, like I said. Dennis, go to your room and watch cartoons. I need to talk to Dad. Mom, don't be mean. And don't hurt Dad, he's sick. No, I won't. What is this? Paulina sat by my side the entire evening. Yeah, I thought as much. And the lipstick? What happened yesterday? Nothing. We celebrated and then we went home. You went home with Paulina? Um, well, yeah. We shared a cab, but then that was it. She stained your shirt with her lipstick on the way? Listen, I don't remember anything. Peter, she's attracted to you. Tell her you don't want her, or do you like her? No, Paulina's a good-looking girl, of course. But come on, we're just colleagues. If that's what you think. <sighs> Hello, neighbor. Oh, hey there. You remember? We're on for tomorrow. Mm hmm By the way, what are we drinking, huh? What's wrong? I had too much to drink yesterday. Nadia let all her dogs loose in the morning. So I don't really know. I'd be happy to, but I don't think Nadia will come. Oh, I get it. That sucks. Zveta's already put the dough on. Talk to her, man. Perhaps she'll, uh, you know, soften if you explain yourself. I doubt it, but I'll try to cope on my own. <laughs> Hello. Well, it seems the client's ready. He and Nadia had a real big fight, apparently. Therefore, now's the time. Bring in the photos. All righty. What is this nonsense? Peter, you got the letter from the arbitrary court? What letter is that? The one about the time of the hearing. You had told me that they'd write you in the morning. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. I had a lot to do. <clears throat> Did you get it or not? No. Thanks for reminding me. I'll just... Um, I'll call them now. Peter, did something happen? It's all right. It's just stuffy. Well, all right. I'll go. Where did you get this from? Kind people sent it to me. 
And they're taking care of me. But... It, it was... It was before we met, and it was a long time ago. And now it has started again. Do you think I'm cheating? No. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to tell you on the very day I saw him right outside. But it just... It didn't happen. And then... There was this... This stupid housewarming party. And then... And I... And then I, I was afraid that it would be too late and that you would be mad at me. <laughs> if a person wants something, they'll find a way. Otherwise, they'll find an excuse. Peter, we are not lovers. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I beg of you. Please, let's not, let's not ruin our lives because of this rubbish. <laughs> when we met, you didn't ask, and neither did I. It's the truth. Please believe me. I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. You must know that I love you so much. I'm off to bed. <laughs> How did this happen? Sit down. Fasten your seatbelt. Wait. Tell me, have you forgiven me? I have, I have. You know how to persuade. You're the best husband on earth. <laughs> Let's go get coffee. I don't want any, thank you. Colleague, you don't look very good. Do you happen to be ill? I'm not great. I'm not great. Things can happen. The neighbors, encounters. Peter, you don't look like yourself for the second day. Problems with your wife? No, nothing is wrong. <clears throat> Look, I better get home. <clears throat> I'm done for today. I'll go call a taxi then. <clears throat> you know what, though? Sit in for me, all right? Feta said you promised to give her some delicious rabbit recipe? Fine, but make it quick. It wasn't you who sent it? I swear it wasn't. I didn't send any photos to Peter. I don't even know his email. Where did it come from then? I'm telling you, look, I don't know. Listen, the photos were on my page on social media. Damn. I haven't logged in in years. Someone must have copied and hit send. What a jerk. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Could it be that they wanted to somehow mess things up with Peter and me? Hey, man. Uh, 
Andre came by for the recipe. Sveta sent him the recipe of, of our delicious rabbit. So he came. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, hello. How was the rabbit? Was it delicious? What rabbit? Frankly speaking, I don't have time for rabbits. Hold on. Andre came for the recipe yesterday and he said you sent him. No, I didn't send him by. No, he'd never help me out. Well, anyway. Why aren't you going home? I need to write a reversal urgently. The customer is waiting. On what case? Let me help. No, thank you. I'm sure I'll manage. There's no reversal pending. What's the matter? It's like you've been another man lately. You can tell me we're friends. Well, my wife has a lover. Mm, hold on. Uh, wait a second. Let me help you. <sighs> she loves you. I can tell as a woman. Not that much, apparently. But are you sure? about taking a lover? Well, I didn't see them in bed. But there are certain facts out. You know him, Andre. What? Your new neighbor? When did they find the time? They had a passionate romance six years ago. I think the old love was somehow revived. All right, now hold on. I didn't think it was important back then. But when I came to Nadia to get the vouchers for my parents, I saw her and Andre in the cafe. They were talking passionately, and I remember thinking that uninvolved people don't talk like that. Funny, she didn't tell me anything. Although, I guess I should have expected that. How is she explaining it? She's not, and she's denying it. Look, I don't believe her. Why don't you give me some advice? I'll need to think. Mm. Well, I know one thing. You shouldn't be left alone now, or I'm sure you'll go crazy. Let's go to my place. Home atmosphere and a friendly environment. It's the best therapy. Hey, I'm serious. If you say so. Here's to friends. To you, Polina.
I understand what you're going through. I survived a betrayal too. He didn't just deceive me. He dragged me through the mud. I had no idea. Yeah. You can't even imagine how hard it was for me to heal. But it's always easier for the men. Be right back. I've had enough of this. Yes. Peter, honey, where are you? Are you feeling all right? Yes, everything's fine. Mm. When are you coming home? Pretty soon. Why are you talking to me like that? Are you alone? I said I was coming home soon. All right, I won't bother you. I just wanted to say come home soon. Dennis and I are... Well, we're missing you very much, my love. Mm-hmm. Look lovely. Did you call your wife? Yes. Paulina, thank you for everything. But I have to go. Are you sure? No. But I'm going to. Oh, hello, Sveta. Uh... It's good to see you, Aunt Sveta. Hello. Dennis, why don't you go play on the slide, all right? Sure, I'll go I want play. to talk to Sveta. Well, what happened? Sveta? Look, if you talk to me, I'm sure I can help you. <laughs> all right, stop crying. Come on, tell me. Tell me, are you hurt? <sighs> you can tell me. What is it? Andre? <sighs> he was never like this before. <sighs> I used to do it all for him. And he doesn't like anything. At first he was rude, and now he's worse. I can't live like this anymore. I went out to the balcony and looked down and thought, just a couple seconds and it'll be over. That's enough, Sveta. What are you saying? Stop it. Sveta, listen to me. Do you want me to talk to him? Really? Yes. Honestly, Nadia. <laughs> well, I think he'll listen to you. All right, all right, I'll talk to him for you. Forget those thoughts about the balcony. Do you hear me? 
Yeah. <sighs> Nadia, so good to hear from you. Drop the act. I'm calling for a reason. We need to meet and talk about your wife, Sveta. Can you meet today? Oh, I'll always find time for you. Let's meet at the mall at the beginning of the avenue. In the cafe. Five o'clock. I'll see you there. Oh, you're in trouble now, little girl. You should have agreed when I asked nicely. Peter, you're not well. No room for mistakes on a case that's worth 30 million. You're falling. Davidovich was right to pass the case to Dima. Yes, I made a mistake. Because I'm overwhelmed. Hard times at home. You can't do this. You're gonna kill yourself. All right, that's it. No, hold on. I want to ask you about something. My car is faltering again, so would you help? Yes, of course. Hello? These are for you? They're your favorites. I'm not interested. I came to talk to you about Zveta. She is on the verge of suicide. Oh, come on. She's making things up. Please stop humiliating her. She's not guilty of anything. She's in love with you. And she's on to you as well. It's her personality. It makes me sick. Then why did you marry her? I just got tired of the single life. <sighs> the shop's right over there. And she's young and loyal, loving, practical, and nice. Value her? <sighs> I'm sick. Peter, Value please don't make a scene. Deal with him at home. I beg you. Peter, Peter, please. Let's go. Let's... Andre, there's no use talking to you. If I see another tear on her sad little face, let alone a bruise, I'll be forced to call the police. Look, you should just tell me about yourself. You and Peter are having some problems. We met in the street yesterday and he barely nodded to me. Is he jealous of me or something? No, Peter trusts me completely. Peter, listen. We met because of Sveta. Mm-hmm. To get her out of the picture so that she won't be an obstacle. No, that's not how it is. Yes, it is. I don't want to hear it. I don't believe you. Stop making a fool out of me. <sighs> Dennis! Come here, my son. Listen. I'm going to live somewhere else now. But we're going to see each other. Hmm? I love you so much. Where are you going? <clears throat> to a hotel. Goodbye. Hey, Mom, please tell me, why doesn't Daddy want to live with us anymore? Dennis, your dad's having a rough time. He needs to be alone and without us, but it's temporary. Don't you worry, we're going to be all right. Everything will be fine. <sighs> why did we ever move to this apartment? Lena, I don't know. I've decided to take a couple of weeks off and stay with Dennis because it's very difficult for him. I'll also come around and figure out how to be single. Of course you will. Hello to you ladies. A good Hello afternoon. There. Yes, well, I came here to you. Here are some... Oh, thank you. ...souvenirs from Yaroslavl. The trip was wonderful. I wanted to thank you. We thank appreciate you. it. Come see us again. All right, Lena, I'm off. Oh, all right. I'll see you soon. Oh, thank you. It's really pretty. Oh, it was my pleasure. Goodness, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Is she feeling all right? Uh, uh, yes. Well, okay, but she seemed to run out. Hi, Sveta. But why do you have bags? Because I'm leaving. But I want to tell you something. Andre told me about you. 
Uh, well, come in and we can talk. No. I thought you wanted to help me out. But you were just laughing at me. You're... a cruel and an awful person. Just like... everyone else in Moscow. But remember... everything bad that you have done to me. Well, definitely come back to you. What have I done to deserve this? Paulina, do you know anyone who's renting out a flat? I moved out of mine. You are in the right. Especially after what we saw, you know? There can be no doubt anymore. I just can't understand one thing. Why wouldn't she confess? And why deny the obvious? That just doesn't make sense. She wants to deny it. And don't worry about the flat because I know an agent and I'll give him a call today. The agency is closed, it says. Please contact... But why is it closed? My things are here. Photographs of Dennis. Well, they'll return your things. But as for the salary... <sighs> ah, here, hey, they, here are, they are! Otherwise, they'll destroy <gasps> us. Calm down now. We'll see. Calm down now. Come back. Calm down now. You we don't have run, anything to do with this. Get I'm them. sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. crazy. Stay with me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you think Stekov will find us now? You and I should look for new jobs. I've started already. Easy for you to say. Your parents will help with Igor. I'm alone. It will be hard for me to find new work. Hold on. Peter won't help you? He has to. Lena. There's no point talking to him at all. Especially now. Therefore, the quicker I find a job, the better for me. Uh huh. Look who we have here. <laughs> you should get out of here. <laughs> yes. Well, congrats. <laughs> When's the housewarming party? You know, I have to move my things out and take care of things first. I think I'm going to stay here for a long time. So what have you decided then? You know, I've decided not to split the place. I'll just let Nadia and Dennis live there. He's my son and should be there anyway. Peter. Hmm? Nadia has destroyed your family. Dennis stayed there with her. Alimony, the apartment, isn't that enough? <clears throat> You'll see, soon enough she'll be telling you when you can see your son. Paulina, look. You're pushing too hard. Nadia's not capable of any of that. You don't know women. She gets it all, and you're left with nothing. And she and her lover are just cruelly laughing at you. Well, all right. 
We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Come on! All right. All right. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Mommy's home, Dad. Daddy, you aren't going to live with us anymore. No. I have my own flat now. You can come to visit. Why are you leaving? I don't understand it, though. It would be better for everyone. You can see that your mom and I have been arguing lately. Hello. Hello. Oh, well, can I play with you? Of course, yes, Mom. She can play later. Your mom and I are going to talk, all right? Yes. As the main owner of the flat, I think that I'd like to sell it. But don't worry, you'll get your share. Yes, all right. This flat didn't bring us happiness. But that's not all of it. I'd very much like Dennis to stay with me after the divorce. But that's impossible. <laughs> Why's that? You don't have a flat or a job. Your parents are dead. I have a good job and a safe place for him to live. Mom will come from St. Petersburg. You hate me or you wouldn't hurt me this much. Well, this whole thing is your fault. I won't let you do this. Of course, the decision will be for the courts. But... Considering the circumstances I've enumerated, they're going to side with me. Peter. You can take the flat or anything else. Just don't take my son away. Please leave Dennis with me. Nadia, why do you need Dennis? You have a lover to keep you warm. I'm not guilty of anything, though. You'll realize it someday. Leave Dennis with me. He's the only thing I have left. Peter. Peter, no! Peter, don't. Don't do this. <laughs> Mommy, help, this is hurting. You what? What's the matter? Mom, I think my throat is closing up. What? Tell me, Doctor, what's wrong with him? We can't say anything now. We're waiting for the results. Has he ever complained about his heart? No. Is there something wrong with it? I told you we can't diagnose it at the moment. You'll have to wait. I just don't get one thing. Why won't she confess, huh? What is she getting out of being so stubborn, hmm? Ah, uh, well, come on. What's the difference to you? You've got a new and happy life that's just waiting for you. Yes? Why, what happened? What? Where are you now? What is it? What's the address? I'm on my way. Uh. <sighs> Hello. Yay, my dad's here. Yeah. So... How's my strong boy doing, hmm? Oh, I'm kind of sick, so no kindergarten for me. That's fine, Dennis. You never liked it anyway. 
So what is the doctor saying? Well, they're not able to diagnose him. All right, I'll go so you can see him. Mom, I don't want you to go, though. All right, all right. I'll stay then, don't worry. Mom, Dad, I'd like to tell you an awful secret that you need to know. I'm sorry. I kissed a girl while at school. <laughs> <clears throat> well, good job. You're such a good boy. We haven't found any pathology. The heart is healthy. That's the most important thing. What was it then, Doctor? I believe the boy has some kind of neurotic syndrome. It caused the breathing spasm that he had. What causes the syndrome? And will it happen again? As a rule, the syndrome is caused by severe stress around the child, so you should avoid anything that's stressful in order to prevent this syndrome from happening to him <clears throat> again. Um, Doctor, my wife and I are currently separated. We are getting divorced. Do you think that provoked his stress? Absolutely, of course it did. The family bond is an important part of the psycho-emotional sphere. So in other words, you'll need to sort it out between each other and take care of your child. He'll spend a week here in the neurology department. After that, you can try it home. It's not your fault that Dennis isn't well. It's the fault of both of us. Listen now, we should just think about our living arrangements. Yes, anything to make my son healthy. Nadia, I'm so sorry for what I said in the kitchen. I lost it and I don't know what came over me. Of course Dennis will stay with you. That is not a question. I want you to know that you'll always be dear to me and be in my heart no matter what. You really don't have to blame yourself. Well, it's all my fault. My son is in the hospital and everything is my fault. <sighs> Listen, if I were you, I wouldn't trust those doctors. They always blame stress, of course. I know, how about I find you a brand new doctor? I'm sure he'll be... Okay. His doctor is good, though. I need to talk to Nadia. What for? Because I'm ready to pretend that we're a happy family and for the health of my son. How long are you ready to pretend for his sake? For as long as it takes. Peter, I understand that this isn't the best time, but I have to tell you, I love you. I love you so much, and you're the dearest person in the world to me. I understand that it's difficult for now, but I'm ready to help you. I'll do anything for us to be happy. All I ask is that you give me a real chance. Do you think that I'm blind? 
Do you think that I don't see through this? <sighs> you're beautiful, you're kind, you're good looking, and you're here, and I don't know how I'd manage to handle this without you. Then why won't you be with me? I don't want to lie to you. I don't love you. I'm sorry. This is not your fault. I just can't think about love right now, don't you see? It's all too complicated. I need time to get myself together. Forgive me, please. Yes, of course. I'm sure I... I... Okay, then. I'll wait. I don't want you to feel rushed. Hello, Nadia. How are you? So, is this your surprise? It is partially. Uh, here are your things from the office. Oh, thank you. Here it is. And here's your salary, with compensation for illegal discharge. Vladimir Ganadovich. He is a pro at protecting the rights of citizens against con men. He and his son even have a law company. Thank you very much. I really need this money. Lena has told me about the problems with your husband. We'll give you a ride and talk on the way. We won't let you be too sad. <laughs> well, all right, And her then. flowers. Oh, and these are for you. For me? For you, yes. Oh, goodness, they're lovely. So how did you do it? It's good, right? I hope that you're not in over your head. Here's why I had to act quickly and decisively. Lena. And I'll tell you later. Let's go, <laughs> okay? Where is Paulina? I don't know. I think she might be at court. When did she leave? Um, about half an hour ago. <sighs> Look, they're nervous. This car's a priority, so get on it, all right? Go on. We have a problem. Tell me, did you know that Dennis is in the hospital? Well, what happened to him? Some nervous rubbish about his stress. Peter is ready to forget, forgive, and play a happy family with Nadia. That's great. No oh, way, this isn't a good time. Exactly. If you're still on board, you don't have much time. Apparently. All right, then I'll just have to show them a happy family. Have you found the evidence yet? Davidovich is really mad. Dima, but Paulina has it now. Then look on her computer. We don't have much time. Very well. <sighs> okay. I'm out for an hour, so the work stops, but it's all okay now? Damn. Yes, and I found the evidence. Mm-hmm. It's on your computer. I found something else, too. What's that? <laughs> it's called the Cuckold Project. You heard of it? You're such a bitch, Paulina. And I was a fool for believing you. But I did it all for you. And I'm not ashamed. As soon as I saw you for the first time, I realized you were mine and no one else's in the whole world. And Nadia is no match for you. 
All I wanted was to help you see it. And I would have succeeded a little more. You would have been mine. I was so close to having you all to myself. You're a wonderful lawyer, and I am one too. Don't you see that? And we'll be happy. What can your Nadia give you? Nadia can give me what you will never be able to give. <laughs> because you don't have it in you. You should get out. And if you ever stand in the way of me or my family, oh, you will be very sorry. I will just have to kill you. Yes, Nadia, I'm coming. It's very important. It's about me being an idiot, and we'll talk more in person. Oh, why, thank you. Is that you? Andre, what do you want? Just you, and no one but you. Our past will not let us go. <laughs> Leave before Peter comes home. Your Peter, my darling, is having fun with Paulina. <laughs> Let go of me. me! Today, all right? <laughs> this is a special occasion. The evening when the old past now becomes the present. Andre, go away, please. Peter really is coming. Would you like me to see you later? Now! Now or never. It's my turn. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where are your glasses, huh? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Andre, what are you doing? Here's to us. This is our wedding cup. Here's to our eternal love. Eternal and it's endless. I won't drink to that. Drink it. If you won't leave, then I will. Oh, no, no. no one's going anywhere. Huh? Music then, huh? My darling, may I have this dance? safe now, and he won't hurt you anymore. There, there. There, 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 there. there. Hello, officer. I am very sorry. I'm guilty for what I did. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can. It was a test of our love. If it was, I think I nearly failed it. I'm so glad it had a happy ending.
Do you think they'll let me hold my sister? No, Dennis, she's still too small. When they release mom and her, then you'll be able to play with her. Oh, I can't wait for it. I'm so happy that I'm gonna have a sister. <laughs> Wave hi to your mom. <laughs> mom, look at us. Hello, my dears. How are you? Do you miss me? We do, my dear. We do. And we really can't wait for you both to be released. Here's the baby girl. Hey, look up there. It's your sister. Dad, is that really my sister? Look how <laughs> small and tiny she is. <laughs> Dad, who does she look like? Is it you or mommy? I think she looks like you. Really? Mm hmm? <sighs> <sighs>